This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. Who is sick of fake Drake? I mean, I'm sick of these fake people. Like, oh, let me dress up as somebody else today and, like, really extend this. Like, it's it's stupid, man. Like, this guy was, you know, he was going viral on the clubs and everything. Now he's like, yo, that Perkyo thing worked. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. And it's like, dude, it's corny. Like, be yourself. Then we got Ashanti. Okay, so Ashanti is finally, she talks about getting credit for I'm Real and Ain't It Funny. <laughs> Ain't It Funny. Ain't It Funny. Okay, so anyways, uh, Ashanti seemingly addresses finally receiving credit. Um, she says uh, she was speaking to Metro Magazine or newspaper, and she was... She talked about being credited on working for these songs before she was just like a ghostwriter behind the scenes, didn't really like, you know, get credit for that stuff. She said, you should always care about credit for what you do, regardless of what industry you're in. It's really important to give credit. Yeah, uh, you know, you don't always get the credit, but she says that especially nowadays, because there's so much smoke and mirrors, it's not like it's just frustrating. It's like the word has been getting out there over the past couple of years that, you know, I did that and I'm grateful and people were surprised. But, you know, it just it's weird because obviously you get frustrated, you know, for not getting credited. I don't get how she got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame because she didn't really. I'm going to be honest. OK, I'm not trying to be a hater or anything. She didn't really do that much. There was like a small gap where Shanti did a couple things. Then it was over. And then we just looked at her on Instagram and Twitter. I haven't heard a song from Ashanti since that little little peak in uh, you know the Murder Inc. days. You know, like honestly, I'm a, I'm just being honest. You know, I mean, what famous for dating Nelly? Well, yeah, I don't know, man. You know. Um, then we got Saweetie saying she misses her old boo, but she tried to destroy Quavo. Is this is this really is, is she saying Quavo? I mean, or is she just like putting that out there because she knows the blogs would pick it up? I'm gonna say she's putting it out there so the blogs pick it up. Then we got K Michelle. This is weird. Doesn't she always bash Memphis like for like putting hands on her? But now she's on marriage boot camp with him. Like, what is? Do you need it that bad to be on TV that you got to, like, go against your morals and principles? Like, if somebody put paws on me and I was a woman, I wouldn't want to be on a show with them, right? Like, come on, man. Like, come on. Like, what's going on here? You know, like, it's kind of nasty, man. Like, people will do anything for a check. Then we got Lloyd Banks, Cody 2. Can't wait because Cody was good man so i can't wait for this to come out shout out to lloyd banks then we got the baby this guy is unhinged bro okay so final so well, i wouldn't say finally because i'm not wishing that to happen to him but <clears throat> turns out that so he he rented an airbnb i think it was in california or something he's been hit with a felony battery charge because his team put paws on him for trying to stop them filming a music video on his property. He didn't want them filming a music video on his property. He Airbnb'd them, but he doesn't want it in music videos, which is fine. But uh, two people, the baby and his friend Aute, 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 I think, uh, was charged with felony robbery. Prosecutors claim he was the man who took part in the baby's team and attacked. And, and the guy's like 70 years old, man. You, you threw him to the ground? What? <laughs> My gosh, man. The baby's out of control, bro. Like, it's always something with him, something aggressive. It's like, dude, calm down, my G. You know what I mean? This guy needs... You know, some type of prescription from a <laughs> psychologist or something, man. He's out of control. You can't just manhandle everybody. You're an adult. Story time with JT News. Smash that like button. I'll check you guys in the next one. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday.